Hey guys, it's Rob J here, and in today's quick look, we're going to be taking a look at a product from High Tech Ants. It's their Ant Nest Medium. Now, also featured in this video is their temperature module, which isn't included in the Ant Nest Medium unless you buy it with it at the same time. Just bear that in mind going forward. So what you do get is the red acrylic overlay to keep your ants nice and relaxed and calm. You get a tube adapter and you also get risers. So let's go back to the temperature module. If you don't buy the temperature module, you get two blanking plates. But if you do go ahead and buy a temperature module, this can be applied on either side of the nest. Or if it's a very special species that needs very accurate keeping, you can buy two of them and put one on either side to create dual zones. Moving around to the front, as I mentioned, there are a number of different adapters, but currently it's the tube adapter that is mainly used. This enables you to tube it up to the other parts of the nest layout from high-tech ants, be it a four-way junction or straight to their outworld. You might have noticed these little holes. These are actually part of the feet, or other known as the risers. You wouldn't use these unless you were using a heat cable. If you were using a heat cable, these rise the nest off the ground to give you unimpeded access for your heat cable. Here's an example of a standard thickness cable and I can easily adjust it to the right spot and move it easily. That is a rather handy feature because all my other 3D printed nests, they just sit on it at an angle. So let's take the shield off. Let's have a look inside. So just like I mentioned before you can have two temperature monitors because there's two ports so it can read the temperature inside and that would create dual zones but the inside is also split up into three zones which means you will be able to create a temperature gradient and a humidity gradient quite easily by the way that these zones are split up as well as you have the plaster inserts this is the main humidity media in this we're not going with sponge here or cotton wool this is a plaster insert and essentially plaster is a very porous material so it will absorb the liquid placed into it and it will release it over time now there are two in the medium and they're in different zones so it is very common to have a high humidity area on one end of the nest and a low on the other. That means the ants can move their own eggs and their larvae to acceptable parameters on their own. And with there being two, you don't have to use the same one as the moisture source at all times you can do a vice versa switch which will reduce any risks of mold. Plaster is resistant to mold and it doesn't last forever but in my experience it doesn't wear out as quick as people may suspect. I've been using plaster inserts in 3D printed nests for a few years now and none of them are needing replacing but just in case that they do eventually want it they are available for a modest price on the website this has been a quick look around ant nest medium i hope you've enjoyed it and if you're interested in this product check out high tech ants the link is in my description if you do go ahead and make any purchases with the link just know that you'll be helping out the channel with a tiny little bit of support using my link. Thanks a lot.